Welcome to Computer Science 320, 2014 Winter 2, Midterm 2 Practice Problem Screencast number 6.9. Boy, that's been a lot of problem 6. Given indexes i and j and the complete array solution from our algorithm, describe how we would find the best root of a BSD containing nodes i up to j. Now remember that our solution array does not tell us what the right node was to pick as the root. It just tells us what the minimum cost of this optimally arranged tree containing the nodes i through j would actually be. But as in most dynamic programming or memoization problems, once we've got our table, we can go back through the table and figure out what the structure of the tree was. So in this case, let's say we're looking at a particular entry, and that particular entry, i, j, so it's, it's somewhere in the table, and here we've got i, and here we've got j, so it represents a low being equal to i, and a high being equal to j, and it says it's 35 in here. So the question is, how does that number 35 tell us which node should be the root? And the answer is, we just redo this computation up here, and we figure out which of those options gives us the number 35 as a result. And that'll tell us which node ought to be the root. Now, that actually takes a lot of time. That's potentially linear time, figuring out which node should be the root. Maybe a better way to do that would be to make our solution array a somewhat richer array. So instead of just storing the cost, it can also store which node it is that produces that cost. And then in constant time, we're able to figure out what node is the root, and then recurse into the two subproblems that we create and figure out what nodes should be roots in those. But basically, all we do is redo the computation up here and find the i value. Okay, so the, the i value for which the calculated cost is equal to solution ij. And if there's multiple, it doesn't matter which one we pick. They all give the same cost. And that is it. That's the core of recreating the solution. 